The successful collaboration between the European Space Agency ISA and China on the Chang'e mission is now facing an uncertain future. Despite the mission's remarkable achievements in lunar exploration, geopolitical tensions and strategic shifts could bring this partnership to an end. Launched on May 3, 2024, Chang'e marked a significant milestone by exploring the moon's far side, but the political landscape, especially involving Russia, is reshaping space alliances. As ESA redirects its focus to the Gateway and Artemis programs, the future of international cooperation in space exploration is at a pivotal juncture. Stay with us as we explore the implications of this potential split and what it means for the future of lunar missions. The collaboration between the European Space Agency ISA and China has been a fascinating journey marked by significant milestones and remarkable achievements. This partnership began years ago with both entities sharing a common vision of exploring and understanding the moon better. Their collaborative efforts have included several missions, each contributing valuable data and insights into lunar science. Among these missions, the Chang'e stands out as a particularly noteworthy example of international cooperation. This mission, launched on May 3, 2024, represents a significant leap in lunar exploration. This mission is designed to collect samples from the lunar far side, an area that remains largely unexplored. By targeting this region, Chang'e 6 aims to provide unprecedented insights into the moon's composition and history, helping scientists to understand more about the formation and evolution of our moon. This mission underscores the potential of combining ESA's technological prowess with China's ambitious lunar exploration goals. One of the key technological advancements in the Chang'e mission is the negative ions at the lunar surface NILS instrument. Developed by the Swedish Institute of Space Physics, this instrument was a critical payload on its lander. Its primary mission was to detect and analyze negative ions on the lunar surface. The successful operation of NILS on the moon is a testament to the advanced technological capabilities that ESA brought to this mission. The scientific contributions of the ESA-China collaboration extend beyond the detection of negative ions. This partnership has facilitated the sharing of data and expertise, leading to a deeper understanding of the Moon and its environment. This mission, in particular, has provided valuable insights that will benefit future lunar exploration efforts. ESA's involvement in these missions highlights the importance of international cooperation in achieving significant scientific milestones. The collaboration between it and China demonstrates that combining resources, expertise, and technological capabilities can lead to groundbreaking discoveries that might not be possible for a single entity working alone. Despite the success of the Chang'e mission and the fruitful collaboration between Issei and China, there's several factors that are influencing the potential end of this cooperation. One of the most significant factors is the Russian invasion of Ukraine, which has led to a complex landscape and affected international collaborations in various fields, including space exploration. The subsequent embargo on space cooperation with Russia has significantly impacted this agency's ability to collaborate on projects involving Russian partnerships. The China-led International Lunar Research Station ILRS, which includes Russia as a key partner, is a prime example. ESA's decision not to engage with the ILRS stems from these tensions, highlighting how global politics can shape the direction and dynamics of space exploration. The embargo has created an environment where continuing collaboration with China on projects that involve Russian participation becomes increasingly complicated and politically sensitive. In addition to those factors, strategic shifts within ESA are also contributing to the potential end of cooperation with China. Its strategic focus has recently shifted towards the Gateway and Artemis programs, which are led by NASA and align more closely with the interests of ESA's member states. The Gateway program aims to establish a lunar orbiting space station that will support sustainable lunar exploration, while the Artemis program focuses on returning humans to the moon and establishing a long-term presence there. ESA's involvement in these programs reflects its commitment to collaborative international projects that align with its long-term goals and the interests of its member states. 
The decision to prioritize these programs over continued cooperation with China signifies a strategic realignment based on current realities and the desire to strengthen ties with other international partners, particularly those in Europe and North America. The potential end of ESA-China cooperation raises important questions about the future of lunar exploration. Without ESA's involvement, China will continue its ambitious lunar missions, such as Chang'e 7 Chang'e 8, focusing on the lunar south pole and in situ resource utilization. However, the absence of their technological and scientific contributions may impact the overall success and scope of these missions. This shift could lead to a more fragmented approach to lunar exploration, where different international entities pursue separate, uncoordinated missions. Such fragmentation could result in missed opportunities for collaboration, duplication of efforts, and less efficient use of resources. It also underscores the need for robust international frameworks and agreements that can facilitate cooperation and collaboration, even amid geopolitical tensions. While the potential end of ESA-China collaboration is significant, it does not spell the end of international cooperation in space. ESA's participation in the Gateway and Artemis programs offers new avenues for collaboration with other international partners. These programs aim to establish a sustainable presence on the Moon, promoting further exploration and scientific discovery. The involvement of multiple countries in these initiatives highlights the potential for a diverse and collaborative approach to space exploration. The Gateway Program, in particular, is an international endeavor involving NASA, ESA, and other partners. It aims to create a lunar orbiting space station that will serve as a staging point for missions to the lunar surface and beyond. ESA's contributions to Gateway include key components such as the European system providing refueling, infrastructure, and telecommunications ESPRIT module and the International Habitation Module IHAB. These contributions reflect ESA's commitment to international partnerships and its role in advancing lunar exploration. The technological advancements and scientific discoveries from the Chang'e mission will continue to influence future missions. The data collected provides a foundation for future research and exploration. Other countries and space agencies can build on these findings to enhance their own lunar missions. The dissemination of this knowledge underscores the importance of sharing scientific data for the collective advancement of space exploration. The changing dynamics of international space cooperation have broader implications for space policy and diplomacy. The formation of separate groups, such as the Artemis Accord signatories and the ILRS partners, indicates a shift towards more regionalized and strategic alliances in space. This development could lead to a competitive yet collaborative environment where different entities pursue their goals while still engaging in scientific exchanges and collaborative projects. In this video, we have learned about the groundbreaking ESA-China collaboration in the Chang'e emission. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this news and what you would like to know more about. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.